is electric our Monday segment here on Erie Digital News now checking out automotive electrical tips to help all of you Lou Norman owner of enormous mobile specialties in Harbor Creek Township is here with us tonight and Lou we're starting with this what some people might not have but should have and that's two keys to get into a vehicle because you always want to be safe not sorry that's right and we've touched on this before and what brought this to light my very good friend Tim Merriman, his mom, uh, only had one key for her Toyota. And he goes, before she loses that one key, I really want to make sure we get an extra key. But he brought up a good point. He goes, you know, I don't want to spend a million dollars for these keys, and these keys are so expensive. Is there anything we can do? And actually, there is something we can do. Ask for an emergency key. It's not going to be as fancy. It's not going to have the lock buttons on it, the panic buttons. It's just a plain, ordinary key. Okay. So that's something that you can do, and it's going to save you a lot of money. Because if you only have this one key, and you lose that one key, there's some things that are going to happen to you. You're probably going to have to call for a tow. That's not... Cha-ching. Right, cha-ching. You're going to have to pay uh, for the cut information. That means you're going to have to pay for the information for the computers to be able to cut... Um, that key that's cha-ching <laughs> and lastly when you lose all the keys to a vehicle you are forced to buy two keys the manufacturers just the way they design their vehicles you're now forced to buy two keys oh, so wow. it becomes very expensive cha-ching 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 and here's another example this is an emergency key this is for a dodge vehicle or maybe a chrysler or a jeep or a ram uh, so here's something else you can do, uh, or you can see what it looks like. And if you ever need that extra key, should you ever need it, and you have to get in your car because now you don't have the lock and unlock buttons on that emergency key, you're going to have to stick it in the uh, manual the old way, right, mm -hmm. to be able to unlock the vehicle. But you want to make sure this is actually going to work. So if you haven't been oiling it and checking it every once in a while, your emergency key is not going to let you get in your car. So that's something else to keep in mind, too, as well. That, that is, those are some good tips. And if you're interested in, in finding out a little bit more, maybe how much those emergency keys are going to cost, if it, it's vehicle specific, Lou can help you out over at Enormous Mobile Specialties right in Harbor Creek Township. That's right. Check out the website, enormous.net. That's E-N-O-R-M-I-S.net. Click the Contact Us button, send us a message, or give us a phone call. We'll help you out, see what we can do for you. Lou, thanks. We'll see you again next Monday. Thanks.